personalized information and communicate that information in effect that they've determined to be uh, a new way to do, do some business here. So I'm going to just leave this in a position to get to our next phase of the presentation. And I'll jump back up into our uh, PowerPoint. I click on the right one. And basically, again, delivering on the focus to enhance insight, uh, delivering role-tailored information, uh, enhanced business intelligence uh, c capabilities, uh, streamlining the access to information, making it a little bit more productive and requiring less effort to do specific tasks, and extending connections uh, via either CRM, uh, instant messaging, or email communications. So more collaboration with less effort is really the goal. One of the other things I wanted to focus on, I know many in attendance are really concerned with business intelligence and being able to uh, look at it in, in look at their business in new and creative ways. I'm going to just jump back into this and see if we can't open up this file here. And this is a perfect example of some advanced intelligence that's built in what's called a predictive analysis demonstration. And when we go forward with this particular element, we're also going to talk about what it's like to get uh, these pieces installed within the application. Uh, I know very often uh, the reality of using the vision and the way it's described uh, do not often mesh so well. Uh, but they've streamlined this through a SharePoint server wizard style input so we can create the specific database connections with really just a few clicks of the mouse. So we're going to kind of walk through this, connect to our SQL server, put in the password to access that SQL server, select the company that we want to connect to, and build out the creation of these reports, and most importantly, the installation of the pre-existing reports library. So at least we'll have shells, tools to work with, as I click through here, and be in a position to go right into our business portal. The business portal comes out of the box. It's easily customized. Uh, I have several customers that go through that on a regular basis. All the reports are stored within a particular reports library right up on portal. It could also be stored in Microsoft Outlook. So what's beautiful about the application today is that all of your business reports, if you're familiar, obviously, as most of us are with Microsoft Outlook, can be stored directly through folders and pull in the reports library directly from our SharePoints list and have all of our reports, whether they're financial, inventory, sales, purchasing, all accessible right through the email, which frankly is the contact point most business owners and executives have with the application. Very often they don't want to get into it. Uh, and uh, and have to run the reports off of off of system menus. They're in their email every day, and this is a perfect way to deliver that information. Uh, this is an example of all of the views that came out of the sh uh, off the shelf or out of the box, uh, whether it's customer past due balances, uh, balance checks, or insufficient funds reports, uh, customers on credit hold, etc. So it's just a matter of clicking on any one of the reports or Excel based tools. I'm going to look at the sales line items data set, and some of you may be familiar with this, be able to pull that information in, and then by just simply clicking on column headings, you're able to organize the data a bit nicer. Through the additional plugin that Microsoft provides into Excel, if you'll notice, there's predictive analysis, forecasting, and uh, uh, additional metrics options that are now plugins to the application. So they've built plugins that are going to work right into Excel. I'm going to look at something called the shopping basket analysis. And basically, I'm going to look at quantity and sales order type. Maybe I'll drill down to shop number. I'll drill down here to item description. And I'll drill down here to the unit price. I'm then going to run this. And in a moment, this is going to collect my data. and give me a relationship of sales information from one item to another. So building in this intelligence, knowing that we're able to determine the frequency of linkage, we're able to determine percentages, the average value, this can be very, very helpful in suggestion selling, in creating promotions, 
whether you're doing web-based business or customer service-based business, but just being aware of these subtleties from a suggestion sales perspective. So using some of these tools that are built in, you're able to leverage the power of what's locked within that database without having to pay an organization like ours to necessarily develop these, uh, these things for you. So that's, that's pretty exciting uh, in terms of uh, the efforts that Microsoft has put into to pulling this all together. And, and these tools are available whether you're in the business essentials or the advanced management version of the application.